Matt Brown, I'm a principal at YBA Architects uh, in Portland, and um, really excited to be here tonight to talk to you all. Uh, it's great that we have such an awesome turnout. Uh, I spent the weekend in the very uh, cool weather uh, with uh, about 4,000 folks at Rock the Block. We had a couple of booths, uh, had a lot of people come through, it was awesome. Uh, we had some of the models that you see in the back and these images of different iterations of the schemes we're looking at, the plans we're looking at, and uh, you know, there's a wall full of comments that we got. Uh, it was really awesome. Uh, and I, one thing that struck me was the sort of youth and energy in this community, the amount of families, uh, young children, uh, and, and possibility and hope uh, that we saw uh, right in front of us at that event. Uh, it was really uh, awesome. So. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort of uh, run through quickly uh, a presentation which is not unlike Josh's in the beginning, uh, that kind of talks about our understanding of the opportunities we have on this site um, and with this community uh, to create a new center, a new heart of the community. Uh, and then uh, we'll, we'll talk about a couple of the particular pieces of program, we call it, like the spaces we're going to create on the site or we want to create. And, and why and how we're sort of thinking about those. And then we'll look at the evolution of where we've been so far with this. Um, and then, you know, open the floor to your questions. And I want to emphasize throughout that, you know, say what's on your mind wherever you feel, you know, be very open with us. This, um, you know, this project is really exciting for us, for our firm, and I think for everybody involved, because it's a real chance to help a community that can really need, that really can use the help, and I think, you know, uh, has every, everywhere to go is out, so it's, it's going to be really exciting for us. And in that respect, you know, it needs to reflect the community, it needs to be yours. Um, so we, we, we want to learn as much as we can about the community and about what, what your needs are and, and what you want to see here. Um, so, you know, so have, have at it during the, during the question time and beyond. Um, you all know where, where the site is. And you likely know that this is, you know, statistically one of the most, if not the most diverse community in all of Oregon, uh, and also one of the youngest with a median age of 27, which is pretty remarkable. Um, you've seen this photo before, you know, amazing uh, group of people in Rockwood, a lot of diverse stories and communities here, um, you know, historic communities, communities that are newer, that are, that are moving here. Um, so we want to represent all of that. Um, and connect not only with the past but to the future and, and create opportunities for everyone. The site is about five and a half acres. Um, this is an aerial view uh, of the site and it includes uh, you know, the so-called Rockwood Community Office, the RCO, on the east side of the realigned 187th, as well as soon uh, a strip of land on the former 188th Street that you see in red up there. So it, all, all in, it's a little under six acres in total. You can obviously see the Plaza del Sol in the southeast corner. Uh, this is this is the, the problem in our in our eyes. How do we create a real heart um, for the community? Uh, uh, a set of public spaces, of amenities and convenience opportunities, of employment, uh, places to live, work, play, uh, that really create what historically Oregon has enjoyed in its in its old downtowns and and town centers, which we see all over Portland, uh, in places like Kenton, Montevilla, uh, obviously Gresham's own downtown, but that Rockwood historically hasn't ever managed to fully realize. And yet, it's a very populous place, you know, within the, the three uh, uh, tax precincts. I think there's something like 35,000 people. That's a pretty large town in and of itself, let alone the surrounding area within Gresham and East Portland. Um, so, you know, how do we create how do we create that sense of center and have it be what, uh, reflect what Rockwood is and where it's going. Um, so the key to that in our eyes and, and I think definitely in GRDC's eyes and RKM, the developer, is, is the local neighborhoods. Um, you know, Roy Kim has said, and I think it's very apt, that if the project truly serves the needs of the community, the rest of it will take care of itself. Uh, in terms of financing, getting everything off the ground, etc., um, and it, and this is what has to happen first. It has to literally be a place that people can and will uh, and will want to bike, walk, 
and drive to uh, from their local neighborhoods immediately adjacent to the site.